Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from On Omnipolo. Uh, Enrico sent me this and it says here in the note he sent me, this is their Simsonia. He says, no date, not sure if this was released in 2015 or 2016. Purchased for $14. 13% Imperial Stout brewed with coffee, vanilla, cocoa, nibs, and cinnamon. The ABV is on the left side of the label, but very hard to see because it's printed in white and very faint. Brewery is out of Stockholm, Sweden, and it's brewed at Crazy Mountain Brewing Company in Colorado. So, uh, if they're brewing it with coffee, they need to put a bottle on date on it. If this is a 2015, guys, uh, the coffee's probably faded already by now. Uh, and if it's done in 2016, depending on the beginning of the year, middle of the year, end of the year of 2016, uh, the copy may not be there either. So, another reason why we need to have, even though it's an imperial stout coming in at 13%, the alcohol and the style of the beer is going to let this beer keep for a long, long time. But if they're brewing it with coffee, that's going to fade. So, you want to have that fairly decent, unless you just don't like coffee and you want to sell it to the coffee fade completely away. Which would be crazy if you're going to buy a beer that costs uh, $14 to let some of the ingredients fade over time. So, And this label, this crazy label, whoever is in charge of their, the, the labeling ought to have their head kicked in. Uh, all the information is on this side of the label and then they've got uh, their graphics on this side of the label. Uh, I would never have done a label like this. I mean, and then, then it's in green and very faint white writing, which is virtually in freaking possible to read. I can see the name Omnipolo and Simsonia, uh, but everything else is written in such small writing, unless you got a magnifying glass or some reader glasses on, you're not going to be able to read that. So, uh, whoever's in charge of that is an idiot. Uh, I would have never have done a label like this, guys. Uh, you want people to be able to read what's on the label. If you don't, yeah, do it like this. That way they can't figure out what the hell you're writing. But if you are and you want people to know what you're writing on the label, if I seen this on the shelf, I would probably let it sit there because I don't have my glasses. I keep them laying here. Because most of the time I can read everything. I've had cataract surgery on both eyes and I can read most stuff. But if you're writing in microscopic, faint white lettering like they've done on this bottle, that's crazy. That is crazy, guys. You want people to be, read what you're putting on the label. You're spending money on this label, and nobody can read what the hell is on it. So, is what it is, ain't it? Anyway, like I said, it's an American Double or Imperial Stout. I don't know why they're calling that if it's done in, well, it's, they're based out of Sweden, but it's done here in Colorado. So, uh, 13%. We'll see what this brings to the table. Commercial description on this one, guys, says... It was cold, so we decided to get with an imperial style condition in Ethiopian coffee. Mad Mad Madagascan vanilla beans, Brazilian cocoa nibs, and carefully weighed cinnamon sticks. So... I don't know why they wouldn't put some kind of bottled on date or at least a vintage on it somewhere on the label that you could see. Because if they're writing in black ink on this dark brown bottle with a black beer in it, very dark beer, you're not going to be able to see that until the bottle's empty. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get me started. All right, for this one, 
I'm not going to keep the tab of the week long enough for me to tell you. I'll give you the ABV. Uh, I don't think we're going to get an IBU on this beer. No. Nobody has it. Beer Advocate Rate Beer on tap. Nobody has the IBU listed here. And it, if it's on the label, you're not going to be able to read it unless you got a magnifying glass. So let's get on with this. This is a big 22 ounce bomber. Enough to share, which I intend to do. A plain Jane silver or gold cap. Nice little hiss. And while I'm pouring this in there, I'll tell you the cheeses, buttery breed, good Havarti Swiss. Uh, good, well, with your chocolate dishes, of course, this is a stout. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass part of pint, back or non tumbler, snifter. Oversized wine glass. I've got my favorite snifter. And it says here can be solid for long periods of time, but it's got coffee in it. I wouldn't do it. And without a date on the bottle, how are you going to know? Half a finger of head on that pour. Over into the light. It is pitch black, guys. I'm not getting any at all. Good looking beer for stout. Imperial stout, 13%. Drink this one at home, guys. Don't drink this out somewhere at a bar or brew pub and try to drive. Get somebody to take you home. One of these is enough to take you downtown to Gray Bar Hotel. You'll get the chrome bracelets on and get a free ride. It won't be free. They'll tell you it's free. But it'll be, <laughs> you'll get that ride in the back of a police car wherever they want to take you. All right, let's put a nose to it. I am getting rich roasted malt, hints of bittersweet chocolate, caramel, toffee, hints of some dark fruit, but I'm not getting a whole lot of coffee on the nose, guys. Maybe it's in the taste. Hopefully, I hadn't faded out completely because I don't know what year this was done in the bottle, and Rico does not either. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. I am getting roasted malt, bittersweet chocolate, but I am getting a metallic taste to this beer. A lot of times that will fade as it comes up to room temperature. Strong metallic taste, guys. Very off-putting. Big chocolate notes. For something I wouldn't brew with chocolate, I am getting a, a strong chocolate notes. Not getting a lot of coffee, guys. This bear may be a 2015 edition, I'm not sure. And when we come back, I'll look on the bottle and see if there's any kind of dating on it anywhere so we can find something that tells us when they put it in the bottle. But stuff like that, if you're writing black ink on a brown bottle with a dark beer in it, you're wasting your freaking time and money uh, stamping that on there. If you're going to do this style of beer in a brown bottle with a stout in an imperial stout, Write it in yellow, bright yellow, or white, or blue, bright blue, like Weyerbacher does and some of the others. But if you're writing black ink on a brown bottle with a black beer in it, you're not going to be able to see that when the beer is still in there, guys. Almost impossible. Well, let me sip on it for just a little bit, pour her a glass, and maybe step that on the deck and uh, fire up a nice Maduro wrapped cigar in there. Probably going to fire up an obsidian and to go with this, because it's a nice oily wrapped cigar, nice woody, leathery, spicy cigar. That'll go well with this beer. So let me set them up a little bit, and we'll come back and see where she ends up. And hopefully that metallic taste will fade away. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. The metallic taste has subsided now that it's warmed up a little bit. But the coffee is basically non-existent there, guys. If they're going to brew this style of beer, and they're going to add coffee to it, they need to put some kind of vintage on it. A month and a year would be good. A year would be the minimum. But a month and a year to tell us we did it in January of this year or December of this year. Uh, and it has a heavy sediment on the bottom. Uh, when she poured her glass, I mean, it's, it's, it's left a big black ring all the way down the bottom. And the bottom of the bottle is coated with a big black sediment down in there. So uh, if I was guessing, I would say this is a 2015 edition. 
but I looked at the bottle there is no dating whatsoever on it and as far as I'm concerned guys if they're going to brew this style of beer with coffee they need to have some kind of vintage on it month and the year would be good if they're doing it with coffee if they're not doing it with coffee just the year would be good uh, it'd be nice to have the month and the year so if you wanted to do a vertical uh, you could know well this was done in January of 2015 and this one was done in uh, January of 2016 so you could tell the difference between them uh, but when they put nothing on the bottle whatsoever and they brewed it with coffee on top of that they're not they, they could care less so as far as I'm concerned that cost that cost you they have uh, they have no regard for you drinking the beer fresh and getting that coffee aroma and that coffee taste in the beer. So as far as I'm concerned, they wasted their time putting coffee in this beer. Just my opinion. Because right now, I am not getting any coffee. None. Zero. Zip. Nada. Decent. Well made. I will say it's a well made beer. 13% the alcohol is astronomically well hidden. It is, it is a tasty beer, guys. But if you're looking for that coffee, at this stage of the game, it's gone. A very nice sweetness to it. I'm getting the chocolate. I'm getting the roasted malt. I'm getting caramel. I'm getting toffee. Maybe a some slight hint of some dark fruit in there. But I am getting zero coffee. Final chug. None. No coffee whatsoever. They wasted their time putting coffee in this beer. They're not going to put a date on it. Guys, to me, this is a B, this is a B beer. That's where I'm going to put it. It's a very well-made beer. It's very tasty. Uh, but the coffee is completely gone at this stage of the game. That's why I'm thinking it's a 2015 edition. Maybe even if it was a 2016 edition, uh, the coffee would still be there just a little bit. I'm getting none. I'm getting none on this beer. And to charge $14 for this beer and not putting some kind of vintage on it or a month and a year on it is unacceptable to me. If I seen this on the shelf, I would leave it on the shelf. Especially, and I even put my Santa Claus glasses on and tried to read that label. I could read most of it. Uh, but there's still some writing on there I couldn't even read with my glasses on. So why would you print something that small and then put that silly ass printed thing on there when you need to put a bigger writing on it so people can read what's in your bottle. So whoever's in charge of the the, the bottle lady in there has got their head up their ass as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and they're thumbing, our, thumbing their nose at us for not putting that on there. And like I said, if I seen it on a shelf, I would leave it on the shelf. Even though it's a 13% and it's an Imperial South, they brewed it with coffee. So, as far as I'm concerned, they wasted their time, guys. Uh, numeric rating for me, it's, it's a B beer. I'm going to give it right down the middle, 85 uh, for me. Uh, not something I would probably seek out or buy. And I appreciate Rico spending $14 for this beer, even not knowing uh, uh, when it was put in the bottle. He has no control over that. Uh, he just wanted me to try it and, and, and review it for you guys. And, and I thought it was a tasty beer. But the coffee has faded completely out at this stage of the game. And uh, these guys need to do something better as far as their labeling and dating. So, impressed with what's in the bottle as far as an Imperial Stout. But uh, as far as the coffee aspect of it, it is gone. It is completely gone. So if you're looking for coffee, don't pick this one up. Uh, if you like a nice, well-made Imperial Stout, it's 13%. Pick this one up. Because it is a very well-made Imperial Stout at 13% alcohol. It's super well hidden and a, a nice tasty beer. But you're not going to get the coffee at this stage of the game. Let's run over to Beer Advocate. They said 88. Well, I think that's a couple numbers better than I gave it. So we'll run over to Rape Beer. Rape Beer says it's 99 overall. What kind of crack are they smoking? I mean, they're getting a lot fresher bottle than I'm getting. Because if you tell me it's brewed with coffee, I don't get the coffee, and it has no date on it, it's well past its shelf life as far as I'm concerned. 
And for our final check-in, we're running over to Untapped. They have it at 4.06s, which is in their A category. So evidently, these guys are getting it a little fresher than what I have got here in front of me because I am getting zero coffee on this beer. So, but like I said, very well made. Alcohol is super well hidden for a 13 percenter. Super well hidden. So, if you've had this one from uh, uh, Omnipolo, uh, this is their Simzonia. Let me know what you think, and hopefully if you have had it, you had a fresher bottle than I have, and uh, you got to taste some of that coffee, which I did not. So, let me know, you guys, if you've had it, and uh, come on back tomorrow. Let's take something out of the fridge. See you then.